Hey, Easter long weekend. Mav and I are heading to Barrington Tops for Mav's first ever overnight hike. Should be fun. Oh, it's going to be awesome. It's, a, it's not too much of a long walk, but it'll still be good. And there's not too, mu not too many ups and downs, so that'll be all right. Yeah, it should be a good walk over overall. How much weight do you got in that big pack? Nine, something, ten. Is it? 10 uh, plus water, you're up at about 12, 11 and a half, 12 11, kilos. Yeah. And I'm up at about 18. Yeah. <laughs> so, off we go, Barrington Tops, next stop. Now we're at the trailhead, Barrington Trail, about to head off, um, we've got 12.2 kilometres to do, I think, this afternoon. Yep. What do you think, Mav? I think it's going to be good, it shouldn't take us too long, that a couple of hours, so yeah, we will find somewhere to camp, and then we'll go from the morning and do the same thing. Coming up on Mount Barrington, which is um, the end of what's sometimes the um, full drive track. So hopefully things will get a bit more interesting now. What do you reckon, Matt? Yeah, there's not as many as rocks. Not as many rocks. Yeah. Keep uh, tripping. Got here, man. Look out. Just as a big white cloud rolls in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Tired, mate. A little bit. I think we've done about 11 k's. We've got about a k to go, I think. Feels good. <laughs> Feel the burn. to be young again. Another one. <laughs> I'm walking. I'm walking. Not 
bad for first pack walk for a 13 year old. He's done well. Probably better than me. I'm carrying about, well, I left home with about 17 and a half kilos because I've got all the food, the cooker, three litres of water, and uh, water purifier, first aid kit, plus my normal stuff, my tent, sleeping bag, air mat. Whereas Nav's just got tent, sleeping bag, air mat, and some clothes, a couple of snacks, and two litres of water. This is not a bad little hill up to Carey's Peak. Anyway, nearly at camp. You here? Yeah. Had fun? Yeah, I think your pack needs to lie down. I think it's worn out. <laughs> yeah. This is Carey's hut. No shelter. Bit damp in here. Anyway, good in a storm, I suppose. the edge of Carey's Peak looking back away the way we came and uh, this ridge in the foreground we followed that ridge out and across there past that whoop, it's gone out of focus past that mountain and way in the distance there right in the middle of the screen you can see the tower where we had lunch bad walk for a couple of beginners and we were about five kilometers north out that way it was where we parked the car what do you reckon Matt? it's all right worth the walk uh i can't tell yet it's a very long walk it's good though mm. do you think you're close enough to the edge your mum would have kittens. <laughs> well, we head back and set up camp. Yep. After you. That was good. The last bit of it was a lot of was a lot of uphill. Most of it was all all like the last K was uphill. And um, so we've just set up tent our uh, tents now and got all our stuff ready. And we headed up to the lookout. Is it Cherry's lookout or something? Cherry's Peak. Cherry's Peak. And so we've just been up there. Um, set up our stuff and. The, we're gonna get ready, we're gonna cook dinner now. And um yeah, I probably had to sleep after that or something like that. That's about it. I'm a bit fatigued, a little bit out of shape. Um haven't done any pack walking for a few years. But it's good to be out doing it with my boy. 
and uh, yeah, a little bit, a uh, little bit um, tighter than I thought I'd be after only 12 kilometres, but um, pretty heavy pack and a bit out of shape. So, but yeah, good day. Nice spot to camp. It's gonna be nice and sheltered here. Crystal clear, not a cloud in the sky. It's gonna be a beautiful night. This is our dinner. We've never eaten these before. It um, smells alright. See how it goes. Mm. Not bad. Not bad? Yeah. This is teriyaki beef, backcountry cuisine, beef teriyaki, gluten free. It's not bad. It's, um, it's not bad. Better than I thought it would be. Some really big sleep. Got to bed at about 7:30, and uh, daylight savings kicked in overnight, which has messed with my sunrise plans a bit. But um, in the old time, it's 6:30 now, so yeah, good 11 hours in the tent. Um, it's very nice and peaceful. Nobody else here. Mab's still sleeping. Can't seem to wake him up. And uh, yeah, beautiful morning. Bit fatigued after yesterday, he crashed out really early and uh, had to wake him up for dinner before sunset. Had some dinner, as soon as the sun was down, back in bed and he was off to sleep again. But, uh, shame that he's not seeing this. rough to sleep on but it was all right and um, yeah the pillow the, pill the pillow was really good so I went to sleeping bag I didn't wake up too much so yeah it was all right got to bed at about eight I think so all that yeah we've so, left Kerry's Peak and um, we're heading uh, along the Kerry's trail towards the link trail and then we'll spear off onto the track to Aeroplane Hill, around Aeroplane Hill to Junction Pools. Junction Pools is only about five and a half kilometres away. Um, and then we're parked about two kilometres beyond that. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is find some water because uh, we've basically used all of our water overnight. And um, yesterday afternoon we sort of didn't feel up to the, the sort of kilometre and a half detour down a hill that it was going to take us to get to the water when we can get to it on our way today so we've had some, some drink this morning we've both had a, a cuppa and 
a drink of water. Um, so we'll be all right for an hour or so. And we'll get to the creek and pump some clean water, filtered water, and uh, have enough to get back home. into Black Swamp, nice little campground here. Um, I dare say that years ago you probably were able to drive into here and that you haven't been able to do that for a long time by the looks of it. Um, but it means that there's a really nice campsite left behind from those days. So I think next time we do this walk, probably camp here, it's nice and flat, nice view of the sky. And um, just over here, I can hear flowing water. So I think Mav's getting a bit thirsty. <laughs> All that sleeping worked up, worked up a thirst. So uh, yeah we're gonna get and filter some water and fill up our bladders and have a drink. Have a little bit of a wash even maybe. Wow. That's a pretty good looking water. Say you want to I want to be that here. We're just uh, climbing up Aeroplane Hill. It's uh, about a 60 metre climb off the saddle. And it seems a lot higher to me. What do you think, Matt? I don't know, I just want to get to the top really. <laughs> It does seem a bit longer. We've been climbing it for about the last 10 minutes. Is that about right though? Yeah, that. To do 60 metres yesterday, getting to a campsite, it took us, what, seven minutes? Seven so you ran most of that? Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, looks like we're nearly at the top. Yeah. It's bloody steep though. That'll be Kerry's Peak. Way out there in the distance, I'd say. Yep. Where we camped last night. We are at Junction Pools, which is pretty busy with campers, car campers. Um, beautiful spot though. Really nice. Really nice. I think we finished with the big hills, Mav. Yeah, I think we're about one and a half, two k's away from the car. Yep. So, about two. Yeah. Yeah, so it's about, I don't know, 25, half an hour to get there. So, yeah. We're going to go upstream that way a bit, behind us and um, cross the river. We might have a little rest first and have some to eat. small to see. It's a wombat. It's starting to cotton on to the idea that we're here.
<laughs> Aren't they the coolest? They're so cool. <laughs> they are the coolest. I think they're probably my favourite Australian animal. <laughs> they got personality. Is that the first time you've seen a wombat, Batman? way of getting there. I've been using the method for 25 years or more, you know, Sonny, and it seems to have paid off. Well, hi, that man. Just walk on. Well, let's go. What's going on, my man? Well, we're coming in from the last, like, 100 meters, oh, not even, of the car. So, we finished our walk, we about, clocked in, Dad said it's like 22 Ks. That's really good, that's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, there's a car right there. There it is. How was your first overnight pack walk, mate? It was good, yeah. It was really good. See so yourself doing more of this sort of thing? Yeah. It's good. It's not something I want to do every day, though. <laughs> when we treat them like the second class citizens the best we're all pawns in a game the USA's miniatures Aussie foreign policy with George Bush's signature die for a watch and blue chip stock did they do big pop or was it too big cop so I want a suit kid rock for making rednecks think they're hip hop well done good lad you did well did well a bit further than we thought it was going to be 22 clicks we were aiming, we budgeted on 20, but we went up the wrong side of the river chasing wombats. But it was worth it. Added to the trip, didn't it? On that sunscreen and enjoy the global warming, cause ignoring world issues is what we all do best. Just like Aussie politicians, shoes shining for the US. The same blues and fake no thoughts to the fumes that trace our skylines and clog our seas. We swim in consumer waste. The fumes of hate rise globally, but we'll see.